owners of properties which are uninhabited need to put into practice some tips uh, to avoid squatters or ocupas, as we say it in Spain, in your properties. Mm? So we're going to give you eight recommendations. Mm? Uh, the ideal solution, one of them, is uh, to avoid ocupas or squatting in an empty property, obviously is to rent it out, to rent the property. And you need, if you rent the property in this way, the fact of having someone inside your property as a, as a tenant, and obviously the expenses that uh, an occupied property generates, you eliminate first thing, you get some profits because you have someone in your property, and obviously you avoid uh, someone to access your house um, as a, a squatter or as an as a ocupa, as we say in Spain. The second thing is uh, renting is for some reason to you is not viable, you don't want to. For some reason, it is advisable to, well, to visit the, your property, to visit the apartment, the flat, the house regularly, to clean the dirt that maybe accumulate, um, uh, empty, for example, the litter box or the water plants are, uh, um, um, are done, I mean, you water the plants and uh, that have been strategically placed into the balcony, for example, or in the terrace, so they can see that this is being done regularly. Mm? Uh, similarly, it is advisable to leave the blinds slightly raised to give the impression that in the property there are people living inside, really. Mm? If this is not possible um, to visit the house frequently, uh, also, neighbors uh, can be advised. You can obviously, you, if you meet some uh, neighbors, they can be advised to keep an eye out for any strange movement or noise in the house. Mm? As a general rule, the flats, the apartments, the house most likely to be occupied are those in blocks where hardly anyone lives. Obviously, if you have some neighbors in a community, the proprietaries in a community, urbanization, or area that is residential properties, it will be good that you are, uh, uh, are in contact with your neighbors in order to be advised about this. Mm. Also, a recommendation will be to install a special uh, heavy door, obviously to prevent these um, occupants to, from entering into your property, this type of door. Normally it's made of uh, some metals or materials that have different systems in order to put more difficulties in order to open um, the property without the door, without a key. Mm. And one of the, also the, uh, I would say, the most popular systems in order to prevent occupas is to install an alarm, an alarm, an alarm system, which is also a solution in order to prevent occupas, in order to prevent squatters. Uh, you can choose to install a video uh, system uh, and you can be, uh, this can be monitorized and you can check from, for example, with your uh, telephone, any movement or entrance or in the corridor or in the terrace uh, in all times. You can see and, and check that right now, many companies of, uh, that install alarm systems, they will be able to help you, help you uh, with this. If the property uh, is located, as we said, in a, for example, a community of, uh, of owners, it is advisable uh, well, sometimes they have like a community like Duman or Kateke, obviously you to advise them where you're going to be in the property, you're going to be out of the property and uh, obviously this figure is uh, take care about the properties we are, uh, which are empty in order to obviously to prevent people to enter in the property uh, that are normally in, in many occasions in as, uh, empty flats or empty properties. Mm. Okay, another recommendation that we uh, understand uh, could be good for you, it is uh, never, or oh, in many occasions, do it as less as possible, to publish where you are in the social media. Mm? Uh, the information that you share in this kind of platforms uh, can be extremely valuable for those people who are looking for a property uh, to occupy, for a property which is empty or you are not living in that property those months. And obviously avoid as far as possible. Mm? If you are intent to sell the property, if you intend 
to rent the property to avoid to put these kind of signs um, in outside the property because at the end the squatters, the coopers, they will know that no one is living in the property. And if, even if uh, when you follow all these um, recommendations, all these tips to avoid coopers or squatters, if the property is occupied by them, then the cost of obviously to evicting them may, may vary depending on whether you have to go to a like long, lengthy legal procedure or maybe it's quick, hmm? as I will be saying in a, in a different video. And uh, obviously it will be also necessary in many occasions to repair damages that may be or may have been caused into the property. Lastly, and uh, this is obviously a must, and this is something that I highly recommend also, a home insurance, house insurance policy is always an extra. It's always a, it's an extra precaution mm, in order to, well, in those cases or even more, uh, especially in the ones you could also specify um, like more content or it has some special protection for any repair or renovations that may occur. Obviously, a house insurance, a harm insurance is a, is a must and you have to obviously to agree the conditions, the terms, what is included and what is not with the insurance company. Thank you. I hope we have informed you in this video um, currently, I hope it's been, this video has been useful to you. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to contact us anytime and from anywhere. Thank you.